What's good everybody? Welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to do a faux out that's a faux blowout. Because unfortunately when you have curly hair, achieving that fluffy round brush blowout and roller set look isn't very easy until today. If you are new here, I'm Mel, I'm a professional stylist, curly hair specialist, and your main girl. And I want you to easily be able to achieve this look at home without heat damage. When I tell you that this look is actually easy to do, keep on watching for these step-by-step -step tutorials, some tips and tricks along the way, especially when styling textured hair, and the pros and ease when styling with my Dyson tools, I've got the Dyson Supersonic and the Dyson Corel in this stunning new color. I'm so excited to partner with Dyson for this video to achieve this look. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, now the first rule of a silky blow dry on curly hair is to start wet. The prep work is super important. I've already gone in and washed twice conditioned and did a color mask so my hair just looks extra fabulous specifically using products that I know are gonna help smooth my hair I want the silkiest hair possible if you've been following along my recent videos you know that I recently broke my wrist that just got the cast off but my strength is definitely not there yet I still need to do a lot of physio which means this routine is going to be very disability friendly when it comes to mobility I really can't use this hand too much and I won't have to but we do want to generously apply a heat protection a smoothing aid a blow dry aid i'm not farting it's the chair we want to apply something to the hair and see this how this section is already drying this actually creates problems in curly hair when you're trying to blow dry it smooth you want to make sure that the hair is thoroughly wet especially if you did not apply your products yet your products will saturate and spread better if the hair is wet Adding product is essential to make sure that your hair is nice and smooth as well as heat protected. And overall, starting while your hair is wet ensures that the hair doesn't already start drying curly. It's going to be much harder to achieve a smooth style if the hair has already started to dry when it's curly. It also means that you don't have to rely on as much heat when you are blow drying. Let's blow right into it. We're going to be blow drying with the Dyson Supersonic in this Vinca Blue and Rosé. This is the newest limited edition holiday colorway. And in my professional opinion, this is the nicest color edition yet. You can't fight me on that. I high key also love that the attachments are black. Now, while there are five versatile attachments that come with the Supersonic, the diffuser attachment being the one we're most familiar with, we're first going to be using the wide tooth comb attachment. And this is gonna allow me to blow dry and smooth all with one tool. It's also really helpful and important to make sure that your hair is pre-detangled, just so the wide tooth comb can easily work through it. Otherwise, you can hold your ends and stretch the hair before starting to detangle if you have a really, really tight coily texture. And this is gonna allow me to blow dry and smooth all with one tool. All right, bottom half is done, easy enough. We're gonna move on to the top section. Now there are two things that are aiding in making our hair smooth. It's the high speed air with negative ions that helps to smooth the cuticle for a fabulous shine, as well as heat. Now the highest heat setting on the Dyson Supersonic is 100 degrees Celsius, which is hot, but not too hot to cause extreme heat damage. And unlike other hair dryers that get hotter and hotter the longer they're on, this has intelligent heat control technology to regulate and measure the temperature of the air 40 times a second. And that's why we love this. If you're using another blow dryer, you may be at more risk for heat damage, which is why you may want to use a little bit more distance between the blow dryer and your hair so the heat is not directly on your strands. But I'm going right in, just making sure to avoid my delicate scalp because the teeth on the attachment do get quite hot. All right, so this is my hair in under 15 minutes. It's still very poofy and not smooth. However, there's no kinks left in the hair. The curl has been stretched out and now all we have to do is press it. This is the Dyson Corel Straightener, also in the limited edition Vinca Blue and Rosé colorway. This is a cordless flat iron. It can be used cord flea. Cord flea. It can be used cord free after charging. I've already charged it up. I'm gonna wait to turn it on because it heats up in just seconds. And in the meantime, we're gonna apply another protectant. Intelligent heat control or not, it's all about how you use the tool. In the wrong hands, you can still create damage. Or if your hair is already damaged or really fine or really prone to being damaged, or perhaps you color treat your hair or you're just trying to maintain the curl under there, it's a good idea to apply heat protectant in between each step of heat. So we did it before blow drying and we're gonna do it again before flat ironing. I'm going in with the Olaplex number seven bonding oil. I apply generously because my hair really, it just soaks up oil. And I am applying the oil in sections as well. 
The styling products that you choose to use are going to depend on what your hair type needs and how your hair reacts to not just heat, but styling in general. If your hair falls very easily, you may want to apply a styling mousse or foam or make sure that you have a hairspray on deck. That way you'll get more longevity out of the style. I'm mostly looking to smooth and so I'm looking for anything that's going to give me conditioning and a silky look and feel. If I do this without talking, I'll be able to get my whole head done without having to recharge or plug this in. But well, let's see. I am going to go in with the highest heat. That is 210 degrees Celsius or 410 degrees Fahrenheit. And while I don't need to use a comb to chase, this comb plus a paddle brush both come included in the presentation case of each of these special edition sets. While I don't need to use a comb when using this flat iron, because it has copper plates to gather the hair, keeping the tension even and the heat evenly distributed throughout the hair for a smooth finish, even without, you know, any additions. But I'm gonna keep it on hand just in case a little tangle comes my way. Now see the size of this section? I do recommend taking smaller sections. If you have a lot of hair, if your hair is really textured, I also recommend you using one of the other heat settings. There's three of them. So turning the temperature down if you have finer hair or damaged hair. But I have a damaged wrist. And I want to do this quick with just one pass, even on a section this thick. I want to gather the hair in the middle of the iron, and I'm not pressing this hard at all. I mean, that's that. <laughs> oh, I forgot we were curling. I'll right, we'll go back in with one more, one more pass. But do you see what just that one pass did for me? Smooth, silky, and stunning. This was just to show you what the power of one pass can do, but we are going to do a little extra sectioning here because this is where we're gonna curl and shape the hair to make it look like it was a blowout, even though it's a round brush can't get like this. So I section the hair from the top of the ear down. See the section. We're gonna start up at the root. And then we're gonna flick up. Now watch how I'm holding the iron. It feels comfortable to go in at this angle. But if I rotate my fist this way to capture the hair from underneath, it's going to make the process of flipping up so much easier and more comfortable. I'll show you that from another angle. At first you're straight, you're going to point your knuckles downwards. So now our next section is from the temples down, about this thick. And for this section, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to start forward and curve under. See, if the section is too big, the hair will pull out from the sides. The heat won't be evenly distributed. The hair won't be properly clamped in the center of the copper flexing plates, which gives it the flexibility to wrap around your hair so you can get it smooth with just one pass and not a lot of pressure. So what you want to do is just take smaller sections. This section is gonna be fun. What we're gonna do is tip our head forward, move the done hair out of the way, hair flip, necessary. I'm gonna comb all of the hair forward gently, split it into two, and now one side at a time, we're gonna work from the back to the front. We're gonna point our knuckles down again. Now, even though I am styling cord free, this has the same performance as a corded straightener. This is powered by a four cell lithium ion battery. Once again, make sure your hair is in the middle of those flat iron plates. That way the flexing copper can properly gather your hair and straighten it well in one pass. Now, similar to the supersonic, the Corel also has intelligent heat control. So even if you're using one of the cooler heat settings, like the 330 degrees Fahrenheit or the 365 degrees Fahrenheit, the heat shall not exceed those temperatures with this technology. Now what I could do to recharge a little bit in between my sectioning, I could place my corral on top of the charging dock and you shall proceed. And did you hear that? If you notice it starts to beep, this is because your tool has been idling for about 10 minutes. So it's letting you know that it will automatically turn off. If you're still using it, just press the plus button just to give it a little extra boost. And now this side, is completely done. I do have to plug it in for the other side to finish off. I was talking. On the highest heat setting, you do get a solid 30 minutes of runtime, which is pretty good. I do usually get my whole head done without having to plug it in, but alas, she is a swivel cord, so it's still easy to do. The best part is this style is going to last me longer than a blow dry because everything's been sealed in with the straightener. I honestly really love the Corel. Plus on my fine to medium, curly and color treated texture, a blow dry would never have gotten me this smooth, 
nor will it last me as long as this style now will using my Corel. I could give the hair just a little extra oil and I could also seal the deal with hairspray. Now if I really wanted to polish off this look and take care of some of my little flyaways, I could pop on the flyaway attachment onto the Dyson Supersonic just to tuck those bad boys in. Now after a little bit of zhuzhing, this is the final look. If you have been thinking about trying out the Dyson Supersonic or the Dyson Corel, now is a beautiful time. Literally beautiful, look how stunning. It's one of the best times to take advantage of these tools because you get so many things included in the limited edition set. It's not just about the color, you also get a bonus presentation case as well as additional accessories. I'll have the links to them in the description box below if you want to check them out to learn a little bit more about them. These tools definitely are an investment, but I've been using my Dyson, specifically the Supersonic for five plus years. Absolutely hair flip worthy. If you found this tutorial helpful, please do let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to know what tip you found the most helpful so I know to continue to bring you the right type of tips each and every Texture Tuesday. If you're not already, please do subscribe to this channel. That is, if you're interested in learning more tips and tricks from a professional. Thank you to Dyson again for partnering with me on today's video. Until next time, this has been your main girl Mel, and I am out. Again, I... It's the chair. I swear. That's... That is definitely an important factor here. We're usually curly and we're hoping to continue to be. I, I just, I feel so stunning. It's just different, you know? It's just, I just feel, you know, it's the crooked part for me. But my hair doesn't like to be right down the middle. No, so I'm just listening to her. I'm just letting her do what she wants. Okay, stop touching it. Stop touching it. It's making me itchy.